If you were guaranteed to make $100,000 this year, but you had to choose between a low risk job and a high risk job, which one would you choose? See, so many people sell courses that claim you can make an infinite amount of money with day trading, yield farming, finding the next pump, but if you make one dumb move, you're done. Introducing low risk, meaningful, high income jobs. Now in today's video, we're gonna go over these jobs, what you need, and some of the salaries you can expect from these jobs. And at the end of the video, we're gonna go over where you can find some of these jobs. See, instead of losing everything you own, including the deed to your cow, you could just learn a skill that pays you for doing your job Monday through Friday. Now it's incredible the amount of stuff that people still don't know about DeFi. So this will be to your advantage. The more you know, the higher odds you're gonna get that job. And also you'll know if that job is even right for you. Now let's go over the five main ways of getting employed. First, we have exchanges like KuCoin, Crypto.com, Binance, so on and so forth. But you can go over to CoinMarketCap and check out the list of exchanges they have on there. There is a ton. When you click on the exchanges homepage, you can navigate to the bottom of the page and just look for careers or jobs. Given that there's a lot of exchanges, you can spend a considerable amount of time going through all this. Next, we have the crypto companies. This is an easy one. Using CoinMarketCap as an example again, we can see that there are hundreds of these tokens and each one of these projects need positions to be filled. So go on the website, scroll all the way down, and again, look for careers. Next, we have the decentralized exchanges. Like the exchanges we mentioned before, we can go down a list of these exchanges, click on their homepage, scroll to the bottom, and click on careers. Now, since these are decentralized, it's worth noting that not all of these are gonna have a career or job button. Next, we have the freelancer. The plus side here is you can earn more money as a freelancer than if you were working for the company itself. Now, why the f would they pay me more? <laughs> This is because a business can now use what they pay you as an expense and write it off for their taxes. But see, if that company has you on their payroll, then there's some taxes associated with that that are gonna have to come out of your pay. Son of a since you're not on their payroll, that means you get paid more money. But the only caveat is that you have to take care of that on your own when you do your taxes. Now, this is not legal or financial advice. And then we have these startups. Now, some of these are a mixture to what we've been referencing, but some of these can be a little bit more difficult to find. So you can use Twitter to link up a network, or you could use some crypto job websites that I'll include at the end of the video. But now let's talk about money. Starting off with blockchain related internships at about $95,000 a year. Now guys, it's worth noting that this is definitely like a, a very big umbrella covering a lot of different jobs in the, bro in, the, in the blockchain space. So definitely take that with a grain of salt. Then we have the blockchain strategist or consultant with an average of $132,000 a year. Up next, we have the blockchain architect ranging at $143,000 per year. The blockchain engineer averaging $70,000 to $123,000 a year. The blockchain developer with $157,000 a year. Then we have the blockchain user interface and experience with an average of $107,000 a year. And then we have the social media manager at about $63,000 a year average. Now, breaking these jobs down, let's start with the strategist. Now, these guys research, analyze, develop, and test blockchain technologies. You can say that their valuable asset is the ability to combine both business and technical skills. This way, blockchain developing companies are able to create custom-built protocols and apps focused on the business's needs. Now, consultants are also responsible for assuring compliance with regulations and legalities. Ah, the architect. But I can tell you, you're not gonna be going to college to learn how to draw stick figures in this role. Instead, you'll be in charge of leading a blockchain-based project and you'll be creating the roadmap for the team to follow. There's not a term you don't understand here. You're basically at the top of the food chain. You'll be coding or developing developing the system, but also considering business perspectives alongside with assessing and managing risks. Moving on to the blockchain engineer, these guys build the underlying infrastructure, the Genesis block, the hash functions, the chain of blocks, the peer to peer networks and etc. And the tools you need here to succeed are Solidity, which is an Ethereum based programming language, cryptography, distributed systems, networking and programming languages like C Sharp, Python and JavaScript. Now we have the blockchain developers, the most famous role that we keep hearing consistently these roles are split up into two different functionalities. We have the core blockchain developers, and then we have the blockchain software developers. The core developer designs the architecture and security of a blockchain system. These software developers use the foundation built by the core developers to create decentralized applications and web applications, as well as smart contracts. So basically, these guys create the apps on top of a blockchain platform for end-to-end -end users. You'll need to know how to use programs like Visual Studio Code or Public Key Cryptography. Now, this 
should be enough to help you get started, but you'll also want to focus on learning one or broaden your knowledge on the following, Solidity, Smart Contracts, Ethereum, MetaMask, Web3 JavaScript, or Web3 Python. Then we have the Blockchain User Interface Designer. These guys develop a unique but user-friendly interface. The User Interface Designer must ensure that the interface is intriguing, simple, and keeps the users hooked. Think about the last social media platform you use, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. For example, if you hit the like button down below on this video, a user interface designer was the person who designed that button to be there. They design how you interact with the platforms. Now these next two are going to be booming and do not require any tech skills whatsoever. First off, we have the social media manager. There's a couple of ways you can go about this. You can do this as working for the company. You can be a freelancer for the company, or you can have your own agency where you take on multiple clients. Now here's a bonus one that I'm gonna throw in, which is gonna be the content creator. Now this is what I do, and I'm just getting started with this channel. Now I don't claim to be a guru in any way. I just make these videos as a challenge for myself to learn about the industry good enough that I'm able to teach people using my journey as the medium of how I can tell stories. Now there's so much room and money for content creators in the crypto space. Now any skills you need for YouTube can easily be looked at like on the job training. Of course, you're not gonna start making money in the next five minutes that you post a video, but you can work up to getting paid from sponsors, ads, affiliate marketing, or even making your own products and services. You can also get paid to make videos for someone else's channel or community. Now there are many forms of making content, but video is hands down the best and it's second to none. Ultimately, you're gonna be learning an overwhelming amount of skills with unlimited possibilities. Now I can talk all day long about creating a crypto channel, or maybe I'll just do something special for you guys in the future. Let me know in the comment section. Now, if you do wanna dive deeper into getting started, I have linked down below in the description, some programs from 101blockchains.com. So definitely check those out. Now moving on to finding these jobs. First, we have cryptojoblist.com. Here you can find a ton of information for jobs being listed. Next, we have Remotive. Now these are remote jobs. So these are also super cool. Then we have cryptocurrencyjobs.co. You can type in the job that you want, scroll down to the bottom and see what they have. Now, if you like this video, make sure to watch this video right here and I will see you guys on the other side.